Good afternoon, boys and girls. Today I will be reading Pirates Don't Change Diapers. It's an AR book with um, an FNP level M or 2.7 AR level. So this is another book by David Shannon, just like the one I read yesterday. Pirates don't change diapers. They don't even change socks. I know because I used to be a pirate, but that's another story. Today, while I was wondering what to buy my mother for her birthday with the 27 cents in my pocket, mom came into my room. Jeremy Jacobs, she said, I have to go get some milk. Your dad's taking a nap, so try not to bother him. As she went to the door, she called, if your sister wakes up, try to keep her happy. I'll be back soon. Oh, great, I thought. Keeping that baby happy is never easy. Mom had hardly been gone a minute when I heard a knock on the door. I peeked through the peephole. There was some old friends on the front porch. Ahoy there, Jeremy Jacob. Are we ever glad to see you, said Captain Braidbeard. We've run into a boatload of trouble. Our ship ran aground on a coral reef. The bow broke open and our figurehead's nose tore right off. I had it carved special to look just like me blessed mother too. I, his mother, the crew chorused. It'll have to be replaced, and that'll cost us a pretty penny, Braidbeard said. We be needin' the treasure we buried in your backyard. Treasure, the pirates repeated. What with all that yelling, my baby sister woke up. It's a miracle my dad didn't wake up, too. Arr, hollered Braidbeard. What be that caterwauling? That's Bonnie Ann, I said, and I'm supposed to keep her quiet. You'll have to help me babysit. Babysit, Braidbeard scratched his head. Pirates don't sit on babies. No sitting on babies, hollered the crew. But there was no way we'd be digging up the treasure, I told them, until Bonnie Ann was happy again. That's how the pirates became babysitters. Bonnie Ann always had her diaper changed after a nap, but the pirates needed a lot of practice. Things got really interesting when we ran out of diapers. Then it was Bonnie Ann's lunchtime, and when she gets hungry, everybody knows it. Braidbeard sniffed the baby food. Shiver me timbers, he yelled. What be this vile smelling swill? Strange spinach, I told him. Strange spinach, Braidbeard said. A bilge rat wouldn't eat this stuff. Then Bonnie Ann sneezed. I got out of the way just in time. Arr, strange spinach, wailed the pirates. When Bonnie Ann was finally changed and fed, we thought we'd be able to get outside to dig. But every time we tried to sneak away, the baby got fussy again. She does that a lot. Now, what does the wee mutineer want, Braidbeard demanded. Maybe you should rock her, I said. Aye, then, bellowed Braidbeard. Rock on, me hearties. Rock on, cheered the crew. Not that kind of rock, I groaned. Use the rocking chair. When rocking didn't work, we tried peekaboo. We danced a pirate jig. We sang sea chanties. Look, I whispered, she's falling asleep again. Quick, let's dig up the treasure now. Time to dig, laddies, commanded Braidbeard. Shh, I said, not so loud, not so loud, roared the pirates. Bonnie Ann caterwauled until we found the only person who could keep her quiet. Quicker than you can say, scurvy dog, we headed out the door to get the treasure. The map, said Braidbeard. Hand over the map. The map, everybody emptied their pockets. No luck. The wee lass, she must have it, Braidbeard hollered, and we all ran for the house. But the map wasn't there.
Do you see the map, boys and girls? Neither was Bonnie Ann. The map, cried Buried Beard. The treasure, boomed the crew. The baby, I yelled louder than anyone. After all, she is my sister, and I was getting really worried. We searched all over the house and then ran back outside. We stopped so fast, we were almost pirate pancakes. There was Bonnie Ann, and she had the map. Avast, yelled Braidbeard. The wee lass has eaten it. Now we'll never be able to fix the ship. We're marooned. Marooned, moaned the others. Maybe not, I said. Thanks to my little sister, I think I know exactly where to dig. With all of us digging, we found the treasure in no time. Braidbeard opened the chest and grinned. Choose your reward, Jeremy Jacob. You've earned your fair share. It didn't take me long to decide. Green is my mom's favorite color. If you need a babysitter again, matey, Braidbeard said, you know how to find us. Just run the Jolly Roger up yonder pole. Up yonder pole, I shouted. As the pirates headed back to their ship, Bonnie Ann and I ran straight for the house. We had a birthday present to wrap. The end. I hope you enjoyed it. Please take an AR quiz when you get a chance.